Hello. My name is Poolin. I work for PETA2.com and um, I've been vegan for over nine years. Since 1997, I was vegetarian probably ten years or so before that. Just because I had high cholesterol when I was little and nobody ever told me that only animal products have cholesterol in them. Um, so, you know, rather than taking pills to lower somebody's cholesterol, it's oftentimes pretty good idea just to go vegan and you will have zero cholesterol intake in your diet. It's true, I swear. Um, other than that, I basically became vegan because I realized that I didn't want my body to become a graveyard for where hundreds of dead animals um, would potentially end up in my body. The average American actually eats about a hundred animals a year and um, say the average person watching this is like I don't know, 20 years old, then that's 2,000 animals that you individually are responsible for chomping up and putting into your mouth, swallowing, having rot through your stomach and your colon, and then pooping out. It's pretty gross. You wouldn't, I would hope, you wouldn't kill one dog or cat and eat them, so it really doesn't make sense to be um, paying somebody to slaughter thousands of animals during the course of your lifetime. Um, it's actually really disgusting and that's why I'm vegan. I just is completely disgusting and inappropriate and unacceptable for anybody who claims to be a good human being, a compassionate human being, to be supporting the worst form of cruelty to animals out there. And if you don't believe me, check out PETA2.com, see what some of your favorite bands have to say about it, uh, watch some of the undercover investigations we have, or um, you know, email us, PETA2 at PETA2.com, and we will send you some free stickers and info and a free DVD, and you make up your mind for yourself, because KFC and all those companies are lying to you, and uh, they don't want you to know the truth about what happens to animals on factory farms and slaughterhouses. So think for yourself. Don't be a tool.